Dr. Neta Hussain, radiologist in Sweden. That is correct. <laughs> and Wikipedian. Yes. Wikipedian in no yeah yeah. Wikipedian in 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 Sweden also. Yes. You started off with the Malayalam Wikipedia, but you do most of your articles on English, English? and even commons. In medicine, mostly. yeah, that is correct. What 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 areas, doctor? I started in 2010 or so on Malayalam language Wikipedia when I saw that there are few, very few medical articles there. At that time, I was a medical student. So what I would do was to I would go to my lessons in medical school, and when I come back, I look up Malayalam Wikipedia and I see that most of these articles are not there on Malayalam. Then I create those articles on my own. That was how I started. And over the time, I moved to the English language Wikipedia uh, when I started doing my PhD in uh, clinical neuroscience. And then uh, I write a lot about COVID-19. I write about any any medical topics that are of interest to the recent times. Uh, on comments, I upload a lot of images. Um, the, I studied in the Cal I, in Calicut Medical College in Kerala uh, for my undergraduate studies in medicine. So there, I helped start a partnership between the Department of Pathology uh, in Calicut Medical College and uh, Wikimedians. So this uh, project helped us to bring a lot of pathology-related images. How did the partnership work? Um, uh, it, uh, so at that time, it was the Center for the Internet Society that was involved in a lot of Wikimedia-related activities in India. So there was um, the head of uh, the Access to Knowledge program from the CIS came to visit our uh, college and the head of the department from pathology had a conversation with this person and then uh, they came into an agreement and they signed a memorandum of understanding which enabled me to take the images from the medical college and actually put them on. I see. Uh, with help from the Wikipedians also, with their involvement? Uh, because uh, pathology is a quite uh, intensive and very uh, specialized. specialized topic so other Wikimedians without specialized expertise could not help but I did have help from the postgraduate students uh, within the Department of Pathology to actually bring those images. So, Doctor, the articles you are doing are of a very highly specialized nature. Do sometimes yes, sometimes no. Yeah. Uh, it depends on what I am writing. On Wikipedia, it's very important that the public understands what we are doing. And even if it's a very complicated topic, it needs to be presented it in a simplified way so that everybody who re reads it can understand. So, do these articles get appreciated, for example, by uh, the global Wikipedian community or do editors kind of feel that you're too specialized on wikipedia uh, you don't write for appreciation yeah. because nobody ever knows who write, wrote those yeah. articles but the editors articles. it goes through the editors definitely and uh, uh, the edit history also shows that i am an editor but on the other hand uh, the watch history the how many people the page yeah. views history shows how many people are interested in what article and so forth so when i wrote a lot of covid articles i started the covid 19 uh, pandemic in kerala article which was like very well received by the public it was read by you know very you many people during uh, during the covid pandemic times so that what are the popular articles you remember doctor which you wrote for instance uh, one of the things I remember very well is the list of uh, unproven medical methods for COVID-19. Really? So at that time when the COVID pandemic was in its peak, a lot of people were using, you know, very unscientific methods to try and prevent the disease, also to treat the disease. So I read a newspaper article at that time of a family in India who ate a particular poisonous fruit thinking that it would prevent them from getting COVID-19 and they got this information from social media. So I was, you know, very heartbroken after reading this because people have access to the internet and from the internet they get misinformation. So I started this article for a list of unproven methods against COVID-19 and very many other editors improved and expanded that article. It got translated into multiple languages and I think this is one of the good works that I have done which helps people to, you know, to find out that this is some kind of, you know, fake treatment that does not work in school. In your busy time, how do you get uh, the hours to put into the internet? Because it, uh, onto the Wikipedia, it can be addictive at times. How do you manage? Uh, for me, I live in Sweden um, and Sweden is a very calm and relaxing place. It's perfect for people who want to engage in creative work. Uh, secondly, I do part-time research and part-time clinical work and um, I have fixed working hours and after my working hours I am free to do whatever I want to pursue my hobby and all my you know, colleagues, they have their own hobbies, cycling or painting or whatever. So my hobby is Wikipedia and I spend my free time in uh, writing articles. I like reading and I also like spreading what I have read and spreading the information that I have read. So I write. Last question, what's your thought on the spread of knowledge? How important is it to make knowledge accessible? I think it's very important. 
we need to make free and reliable knowledge accessible in the languages that people speak and write. So it's very important that we uh, have free knowledge openly on the internet but it's also important that that knowledge is reliable and is understandable to people who are also monolingual perhaps in, in an Indian language. I know very many people who speak only one Indian language and it's very important that we spread all this information in the languages that people speak and read and understand. So interesting. Mm -hmm. Doctor, last question. How do people contact you through your Wikipedia username? What are you? My username is the same as my real name. It's user Neta Hussain. Neta um, space Hussain? Yeah. And Neta my, um, my uh, contact details are on my user page. But you can also Google me because I am on ResearchGate and Google Scholar as well. I am in my other work as a uh, researcher so in nice. medicine. So, nice. so if, if you're contacting me based on my research work, you can always. There are other young Indian doctors also active in the Wikipedia yes, space? Yes, there are. Uh, not very many, but okay. there are. There are very many healthcare professionals. We have not only pharmacists, we have not only doctors, but also pharmacists. I know a nurse who was a contributor. So there are Indian uh, contributors on in Indian Wikipedias, but when you take the global you know, Wikimedia community, we have a wiki project in medicine, there are very many healthcare professionals and also people outside of healthcare professionals who are active in uh, Wikimedia related work. All driven by this idea of creating shareable Definitely. knowledge. Definitely, and I think uh, very many people are driven by this idea of creating knowledge and there are also people who want to learn, I mean, who are curious about what's happening on Wikipedia and they want to help out uh, with volunteering. Uh, so people drive it, people get satisfaction from contributing onto Wikipedia and I think that is what keeps them going. That's what keeps me going. Anyway, yeah. So nice, thank you doctor. All the very best. Thanks. <laughs>